the Mogwa trick. I'm going to use two songs as an example, the first of which is Grows of Four. Okay, so what I call the Mogwa trick is a chord progression, which is you start with a root note and then you go down four frets and you can play that anywhere across the neck. Grows of four is played like this with an A power chord here. I'm in D standard. So if you're playing it in E standard, do whatever I do two frets down. So I'm starting on the seventh fret, which is an A. So seven minus two is five. So that'll be here for you guys. And they're going down to F. And all it is just the basic power chord shape. So far, so for you guys, it will be five seven seven from E to D. So E five, A seven, D seven, and then you move that down, the whole chord shape down four frets. So it'll be one three three, A to F. Not only Mogwa do this, loads of bands use it. If you just mess about with it in different keys, and I'll so show some examples later, you can probably sound, it'll probably sound like a few riffs that you know or have heard. As you can probably tell, I'm not discussing any of the lead lines, but just the backing chords, because I wanted to make this video quite beginner friendly. So I expect all of you to know your power chord shape and know how to strum in eighth notes. Now the second song is going to be with hearts towards none, number one. Now this is slightly different because this song is played in a lower tuning, Mogwa play in D, standard live, and it starts off with the same 5 to 1 chord progression. So if you want to play along to it, to one of their live videos, tune your guitar two steps, two frets down. So to D standard, it'll sound like this. You should have chromatic guitar tuners or tuners that should compensate for lower tunings. And to play this one is so simple. Starts off with that A5 power chord shape, 577. Seven. Then it becomes an F major. But the way I like to think of it is an A with the second note up one fret. So the tabs would be 5 on E, 8 on A, and then 7 on D. So this note of the power chord moves up. Change your fingers around. You go through those two chords again, then go all the way back down to the first fret, power chord shape. And for you who've played black metal for a while, you can, you're going to be good at tremolo picking. like that. Now Mogwa aren't the only band, as stated previously, that use this chord progression. So many bands use it. Off the top of my head, we've got Dimu Borg here with In Death's Embrace. And then it's Variation. Um, Emperor use it. Emperor uses this one on Inoa Satana. Same chords, A to F. Um, right at the end.
and then they use the same chord progression in E and Trans Superium, except it's played differently. <laughs> And then Behemoth use the same chord progression with Barzabel, but it's played slightly differently, and it's also played in C sharp. So the two chords used are just this E power chord here, and then a C chord here. But this one's a bit tricky because you've got to have your power chord with the open strings of B and high E. I don't know the riff, but those are the chords. And you can mix and match some of the chords as well. You can throw in other chords. Immortal, for example, in Tyrants, they go from the second chord that I've shown you. So if you take your original chord, it's the one that's minus four frets down. Because they play in D, so the root notes are here open D string because I'm in D standard and then the seventh fret on the A string so again seven minus four I'm here and they're using that major chord shape that I discussed in my chord videos um, chord video the black metal chords video so the tab will be three three two on E A and D three three two and then they move the chord two frets up same shape your low E power chord here with that rhythm and Fartain they in Waters of Iron right at the end Way they do that is they pick they go from the original chord here which is an A for you guys again reminding ourselves that I'm playing in D and you might be playing in standard that'll be five seven seven here if you look at my guitar one two three four five here five seven seven that's your that's where your A chord is on the guitar so for you guys it'll be five one and then on the A string with your root note on A string, five seven seven, five on A, seven on D, seven on G, and then back down to your original chord. So that's what it looked like for you guys, but it actually sounds like this. So that's just a nice little quick lesson going over some chord progressions in probably one of the most basic way possible. So to recap, pick a note, go four frets down, then go back up four frets and throw in any, any chords you want to. So you can go from your first chord, down four, up two, then back to your first chord, or first chord, down four, down one, up three. I'll play that one for you. Creative. Like I always say in all my lessons, get creative, learn your scales and your chords and your techniques, learn to move around the neck, go out of your comfort zone, learn new things, and I hope this one helps. <laughs>